Hey there, welcome back to my channel. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe and turn the bell icon on to have notifications of my latest video. Nature is a vast spot of mysterious and incredible diversity. There isn't an area where we do not notice nature. Starting from high mountains to deep seas, it expands its distinctive uniqueness. And such uniqueness of nature can be spotted in underwater life. There are lots of creatures in the ocean, but today we are going to explore a few. So without getting late, let's get started. One of the most interesting organisms is the jellyfish. Yeah, they are fluffy, smooth organisms exhibiting a unique phenomena called bioluminescence, which make their body glow. They have teeny stinging cells in their tentacles to stun or paralyze their prey before they eat. Inside their bell-shaped body is an opening that is their mouth. They eat and discard waste from this opening. Tentacles hang down from their smooth bag-like body and sting their prey. Jellyfish stings can be painful to humans and sometimes very dangerous. But jellyfish don't purposely attack humans. Most stings occur when people accidentally touch a jellyfish. But if the sting is from a dangerous species, it can be deadly. Jellyfish digest their food very quickly. They wouldn't be able to float if they had to carry a large undigested meal around. The Chinese have fished jellyfish for 1700 years. They are considered a delicacy and are used in Chinese medicine. Another intriguing creature is the angelfish. There are over 200 species of deep sea angelfish. From the recognizable toothy jaws of the black sea devil to the bottom dwelling sea toads. Deep sea angelfish come in all sorts of shapes and sizes. And interestingly, female angelfish have a size of a grapefruit. Meals in the deep sea may be few, but the angelfish have adopted a unique strategy to find their next meal. Instead of expending energy to hunt their prey, deep sea angelfish have developed a fishing pole like rod that projects from their head. At the end of the rod is a sack of bioluminescent bacteria that glows brightly in the dark. The light attracts prey towards the angelfish. Acting like the angelfish meal delivery service, the fishing rod growing from the female angelfish snout ends in a glowing blob of light. Why? At the tip of this modified fin ray is a small organ, ESCA, that contains millions of light-producing bacteria. In some species of angelfish, the male are tiny, with simplified body features, and they live as parasites on the females. This is thought to be an adaptation to save energy. The mysterious gulper eel, also known as the pelican eel, is one of the most unusual deep sea animals. They are black and can reach about 2 to 3 feet in length, which isn't that significant compared to other eel species. Do you know the largest eel species is the European conger, which can reach up to almost 20 feet long. They live in the deep sea, ranging from 1600 to almost 10,000 feet below the surface. Gulper eels get their name from their massive gulping mouths. So why do gulper eels have these unusual mouths? Like pelicans, it allows them to scoop up water into its mouth to swallow prey whole. They primarily feed on crustaceans, fish and cephalopods. But some scientists believe their white mouths allow them to go after larger fish if food is hard to find. Pipefish are very slender fish that has an amazing ability to camouflage, blending in expertly with the slender sea grass and weeds among which it lives. They align themselves in a vertical position and sway back and forth along the grass. Like their seahorse and sea dragon relatives, pipefish have long snouts and bony rings around their body and fan-shaped tails. Rather than scales, they have bony plates for protection. Depending on the species, pipefish can be from 1 to 26 inches in length. Some even can change color to further blend in with their habitat. Lionfish have a distinctive brown or maroon and white stripes or bands covering the head and the body. They have fleshy tentacles above their eyes 
and below the mouth. Lionfish are slow moving and conspicuous, so they must rely on their unusual coloration and fins to discourage would-be predators from eating them. Lionfish are now one of the top predators in many coral reef environments of the Atlantic. Lionfish are active hunters who abuse their prey using their outstretched fan-like pectoral fins to slowly pursue and corner them. Lionfish are thought to be nocturnal hunters, but they have been found with full stomachs during the day in their fur. Lionfish will sting or attack if threatened. Lionfish spines contain venom that can stop a fish moving or even kill it. Drivers are careful not to touch lionfish. Hope you liked today's video. For more interesting videos, stay tuned to our channel. Thank you for watching. Meet you all in the next video. Till then, bye. And like, share, and subscribe.